What's going on everybody, it's Royce here. I'm back with another video and today it's going to be a day in the life of Royce Smith. Just what I'm doing today and what a typical day looks like during the month of Ramadan. So remember I'm fasting and how I deal with training sessions and I'll at the end of the video explain my schedule and how it's different. What's up guys, I am gonna head out to a training session in about an hour, but for now, I'm gonna get some stretches in um, before the training session. Alright guys, so we're heading out to the training session at Robert Forest School for the specific training session. Alright guys, What's up guys, we just made it home. I'm about to shower up and pray and eat something, so I'll pick you guys back up in a second, but we are about to go to the gym soon. Okay, so I prayed. Now I'm about to make like some little like sandwich type things. And let me tell you, this bread that is from Sweden, best bread ever. I swear to you. Usually I have cheese with this, but it's okay. I got some goaties. The goaties keep me going. It's like candy in Spanish or in Swedish. It's like goodies or something like that. I don't know. Ask Philip when I get in the car. Goaties, goaties, goaties. That's right. Yeah. How do you say it? Goodies. You do it like a certain way that like you guys do it a certain Goodies. way. Goodies. I'm a pro now. All right, guys, here we are. I'm just here to pick up my son, Ian Thomas. <laughs> um, no, we gotta get Ian, and then we're gonna go to the gym. <laughs>
training sessions a day. Then when I get home, then I usually make a full meal. Uh, like I ate a snack in between the one training session and the other one. Fasting's definitely affected my schedule. And uh, as a result of that, um, I stay up later and um, I wake up later as well. And I stay up until Fajr at 4.20 in the morning because I go off the times in Mecca. We go off the times in Mecca because the fast is longer than 18 hours. Here in Sweden, it doesn't really get dark for very long. So um, we're allowed to go off the times in Mecca. So my time has been adjusted. As you can see, I'm eating and it's still daylight in the background behind me and stuff like that. It's what works for me right now during Ramadan and it'll change after Ramadan as well. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.